Yeah, that's a good move. That's a good move. Good pick. <laughs> good pick. Hello, everybody. My name is Jason. My name is Julian. And we, we do in filmographies. filmographies. Hey, we did it. First try. Hey, how about that? Hey. Today in our uh, Billy Crudup party that we are doing for y'all. I mean, really, it's just it's just for us. It's, yeah. it's something we, we have to do. Right. Contractually, <sighs> we are obligated. We are doing his sixth credit on IMDb. Yep. Monument Avenue from 1997. Yep. Is that correct? Uh. Uh, is it 98? Where's my notes? Did I take notes on that? Why is everything out of order? God, I guess I didn't take notes on this one. Oh, shit. Well, fuck. It's a 1998. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's absolutely right. And I have a f- a weird theory about this movie. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Let's. Uh, so, guys, this is a Ted Demi movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is super weird. Jonathan Demi's son. I think it's his... Brother? Nephew? Nephew? Nephew. Okay. He did six movies in his short career before he died of a heart attack with trace amounts of cocaine in the system. His first movie, Who's the Man? Saw that in the theater. I must have been about 10. Who's the Man? Yeah, with Dr. Dre and Ed Lover, the UMTV oh, Raps my guys. Oh, God, of course. Because I think Ted Demi was one of the creators of UMTV Raps. Is that correct? He either was a Fuck. producer or one of the creators. So that movie was a flop. He followed it up with The Ref, a the Ref. movie that people like, also a flop. Yeah. That's the movie that like really solidified Dennis Leary in the public. Yeah, because his he's, personality. He's worked. He did a couple of Dennis Leary's stand up. Yep, he did No Cure for Cancer and Locked and Loaded. Yeah, like ninety three and ninety seven, I think. Mm, ninety two and ninety seven. Oh, yeah. so close. You his, were his third movie. Beautiful Girls, which we've touched on during the Natalie Portman. Of course, yes. Which I love that movie. And then his fourth movie is fucking Monument Avenue. Yeah. Fifth movie, Life. Yep. Which I've never seen because the premise is so depressing. Why would I ever want to watch that? You know, I saw it and it's pretty good. What the what a fucking... They spend their life in jail for they something do. they didn't do. Yeah, but I mean, uh, Martin Lawrence and Eddie, Eddie Murphy, you know, they, they can carry a vehicle. Well, if we end up drawing Eddie Murphy, I'll end up seeing it. Yeah. That's the only way I would ever watch well, it. Well, no, that's probably way late in his filmography. But we're doing all of his movies. Well, theoretically. The- <laughs> I mean, you don't know what we I'm do doing in filmography. <laughs> Looking at this. We do in filmographies. Okay. Not just first ten, we do in filmographies. So he did life. And then his last movie was Blow. Uh no, he also did John Q. What? No, he did. The didn't. Denzel Washington movie. It's on his thing here. As a director? Uh oh no, the director was Nick Cassavetes. What was he? Just the producer? Maybe he was in it. Why is this showing up for Ted Demi? I don't know. We'll get to the bottom of it. But Blow, yeah. Blow was okay. Yeah. I mean He seems to like cocaine. Yeah, boy, and this movie, fuck. You know what? Because it's funny. I realized the moment they were doing the coke scene. Oh, I've seen this before. Oh, you've seen this movie? I have. I maybe have seen this movie and have no memory of it. This, I think, just occurred. There was a while there from like 98 to probably about hmm, 2004. Um, I, I used to on and off live above um, like a... Uh, a used movie CD store mm-hmm. uh, back in Madison. And um, so I, I was just going down there buying like fucking, oh, I'm a hip to Philip Seymour Hoffman now and getting all those. And then a transition into all these different people. And along the way, um, I'm sure this movie fell in there because I definitely seen it. Man, this is absolutely the type of shitty crime movie that I would have watched in right around the same period of time. You know, it's funny because you, you were watching it and you texted me. With no real context, Dennis Leary's like 40 in here. And I'm like, okay. And then I watched the movie. Yeah. (laughs) And this is very much a young man's movie. (laughs) But, uh, god damn it, they're all like 40, though. They are. They're all hardcore losers. Thankfully, they aged everybody appropriately. You know, it wasn't just like him trying to... Run with a bunch of 20-year-olds. Right, because... I mean, I don't know the the lifestyle of, of this demographic, um, but he's living at home with his mother. Yep. Like sleeping on her couch. Mm-hmm. Maybe he has a bedroom. I don't know, but it looks like he's always on the couch. Yeah. Well, why would Maybe you leave your friends in there if 
if you have your own room. Right. And and he's banging Famke Jensen. He's, At his mommy's house? Having sex with her? Uh, yeah, he, that was like his girl. Okay. Because it seemed like they, Oh, wait, no. They were together. Maybe they were previously. I think that's his secret girl. Because that's supposed to be the Colmini's girlfriend woman. of Colmini. His his mall. Yeah. Basically. Um, the, the, the feeling that I got from this movie is Good Will Hunting came out in 1997. This script was just around for years. They never got around to doing it. And now Boston boys are hot. And when they had originally wrote the movie or or, or came up with the film, they were probably in their late 20s. Am I, is it me? Yeah, you're making a noise. It's because you're sitting on your mic cord, you fucking pig. I'm a fucking amateur. God damn it. Uh, it feels very much like Boston boys are hot right now. Hey, we got this script. Let's, uh, hey, instead of Boston boys, let's just uh, fish a bunch of old pieces of shit out of a dumpster. Yes. And uh, let's base the story around them. What if we did a Boston boys movie, but with borderline AARP card members? What if nobody in this cast was attractive except for <laughs> Billy Crudup? Yeah. Yeah. Good, good point. Hey, what you know if, who's a good leading man? Dennis Leary. You know who's an even better leading man? Dennis Leary with really stupid sideburns. God damn those sideburns. I fucking looked at him so much in this what movie. What is going on? I thought at one point I was like, I think I would like this movie a little bit more if he did not have those sideburns. Absolutely. He looks sickening. It's stupid. God, I fucking hate this movie it's, so it's much. It's almost like afro beard hair. You know yeah. what I mean? Like super curly and puffy. Yeah, this should have been, these are like 70s sideburns. And I'm like, did they give him these to make him seem younger? No. Or completely out of touch. No, they aged up everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's do let's do the synopsis. So the movie starts. Oh, wait, no, I'm wait. sorry. <laughs> Go with the synopsis. You're right. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Bobby O'Grady, Dennis Leary, oh, God, is a low-level thug, yeah, in Charlestown, and a member of Jackie O'Hara's gang. That's Cole Meany. Jackie, who requires complete loyalty, arranges a hit on Bobby's cousin Teddy, Billy Crudup, attracting the attention of Detective Hanlon, Martin Sheen. Since no one will talk, Hanlon becomes suspicious. Bobby, who finds it more difficult to stay silent, confides in his cousin Seamus. I didn't know that was his cousin. A tragic turn of events forces Bobby to decide on his true loyalty. This is an incredibly long hour and 33 minutes. God, that's a... Um, that That's a very spoiler-filled synopsis right there. Yeah. It's... You didn't know who was his cousin. Billy Crudup? No, Seamus, the, oh, the Irish guy. Oh, like several times. Dude. He even says, you're a fucking, because he's like Irish, mm -hmm. from Ireland. You're a fucking great cousin. You're a fucking great cousin. Oh, boy. I, didn't... I fucking love you. Man, I I don't think I watch movies right, to be honest. Well, so, all right. So the movie starts, <laughs> and um, they're, they're doing that thing where they're, they're making you think something else is going on. Yes, there's, man. <laughs> like, oh, my God, there's a, a, a car chase. It's not a very good car chase. No. I thought, so Dennis Leary's driving off with this car. There's a dude chasing him. You're yep. like, man, that guy's going to kill Dennis Leary. Yeah. And then Dennis Leary pulls over. And gets out of the hides out of the car. It looks like he's still in there. <laughs> and the guy rolls up on the car, and you're like, Dennis Leary's gonna fucking smoke this dude. Yeah. Nah, they're fucking buddies. He steals that guy's car, and that, then they drive to the chop shop. That's funny because I thought um, Dennis Leary was the one chasing the other car. Oh, really? The way the shots were composed to me, I'm like, okay, Dennis Leary's on to some dude. That was not now, a Dennis good car Leary chase. was driving like a BMW, right? I don't think either of those Beamer. cars were very nice. No, a, yeah, no, it was Dennis a little red Beamer. Okay. Because I don't think the other car was nice. Yeah. So when he parks the Beamer, and then the guy comes out, and then he jumps into his car and takes off like a Corolla or something. Yeah. They get back to the shop, and he's like, it's not who fucking steals the car. It's who delivers the car. Like, he did, like he got the better car. Yeah. I'm like, you're driving a fucking Corolla. What is <sighs> this? So they go back to the chop shop. Again, the chop shop. Yeah. Right? Um, Second chop shop. Yeah. Um. And the guy gives him, oh, it's fucking... Uh, Lenny Clark. Lenny Clark. God. Boston. Lenny Clark. Yeah. Rescue me. Dennis Larry. Lenny the, Clark. The job. Famous comedian Lenny Clark. Never less left Boston. They call him the skunk because he's got... Um, he's got that stupid hair. He's slightly younger than he is in the other things you've seen him in. Yeah. Not he, looking young, though. No, and he's exactly the same. Everybody's exactly the same yeah. <laughs> as everything else they're in in this movie. <laughs> Dennis Leary is just Dennis Leary. 
Yeah. Now, admittedly, he does manage some dramatic. I do not like scenes. Dennis Leary. I was very disappointed to be watching a Dennis Leary movie. I yeah. thought that Billy Crudup would be in this movie more. No, and it, again, it's one of those movies where you forget he's in it. Yeah. And then he shows up. But in this one, I thought, oh, okay, maybe he'll be around a little bit because uh, I forgot. Uh, and but uh, until it happens and then i remembered yeah. but so they're all you know um hooligans irish boys so after that they is that immediately when they go to the house to do the cocaine yeah yeah it goes from car stealing they make a little bit of money they they somehow pick up 40 year old boys so two 40 year old guys and Seamus, who's like what 25 maybe probably they go back to dennis leary's mom's house yeah. and do cocaine in the in the living room all night long yeah is this is this when they want to get more cocaine and convince it they, is they, they don't get it no because it's one of those scenes where it's like this is what being on cocaine is like except for it wasn't very charming or funny it was long it, yeah it should have been it should have been funny like this was just coke porn it's ramble on a topic cut now we're talking about tits. Cut. Now we're talking about Yeah, sports. it was a lot of talk about like who who you'd fuck of these ladies. Cut. Oh, did you hear that? What's that sound? What's yeah. that sound? We're all cooked. That was so stupid. What? What? There's, I mean, it's going on. It felt like a movie in and of itself. This, this scene would have, when I was younger, I would have been like, boy, do I want some cocaine. Yeah. Now as an old man, almost 40, when I see these scenes, I feel like they look exhausting. Yeah. The, it's it's so depressing. Yeah, because Mouse, um, and, and this is no shade, but just to draw home how old these characters are, he's balding. He's balding. And he's like, hey, should we get another eight ball? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nah, maybe Graham, get a Graham. Yeah, we better get a Graham. Get a Graham. Because somebody's hope. You need to go late. to sleep. Yeah, I'll go get it. I mean, I don't want to go anywhere, but I'll go if that... You know, and it's back and forth, back and forth. The natural dialogue that made Grind so popular. <laughs> <laughs> on full display here. Uh, so they don't get the coke. They crash on the couch and, you know, whatever. I mean, again, it's just scene after scene. Because I don't even know where they go from there, right? They. I mean, we might as I think we might as well just jump to the, the bar. Where they, it feels like that's where it goes, right? I mean, there probably was some filler because this movie, movie feels oh. like a lot of filler. Oh no, he so, remembers. Uh, there is a part where somebody is like, "Oh, I saw, I saw what's Billy Crudup's character's name? Kenny, Tad, Tad." Ted? I don't know. He's like, hey, I saw what's his name down the way down the thing. He's really coked up. He's in jail. No, no, no. He's down the thing. I saw him. I swear to God. No, he's in jail. Famke Jansen's fucking around with Cole Meany in yeah. front of Dennis Leary, and it's all like, she comes to grab his dick. She's like, hey, I'll come to your house tonight. And what time? And he's like, one o'clock. I'll fuck you. And she's like, all right. And then Cole Meany comes in, and she's all over Cole. So then later, they eventually go to the bar. Oh, and you, you get you get the the bad words right away. You get you get the maybe the worst bad word. Oh, you got a really good, good dick. Maybe like an hour. No, 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 no. <laughs> you get you get F A G and R E T A R D. Oh yeah, pretty much right away, man. Well, I was and, like, oh yeah, of course this is gonna happen. It's fucking 1998. They're from Boston. Yeah, but boy, man, in 2022. Well, and then we meet his redhead friend at the hockey rink. Oh yeah, he's the one that's. Yeah. And he's just racist. Noah. Left. Noah and, Emmerich, right? Yeah, from Beautiful Girls. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I got all these blacks moving into the projects now, and my mom can't go to the store at night because of the blacks, <laughs> right? They're displacing the poor Irish. Now we got poor black people. Ooh, oh boy, they're the bad ones. I have red hair. I don't know, guys. It seems like the the Irish people in this movie are the real pieces of shit. Yeah, they seem like the ones you want to stay away from. Yeah, considering so, that scene later on. But anyway, so they drop some big words. So we're at the, we're at the bar. Eventually, we're at the bar here, and they're like, uh, "Billy's Billy Crudup's real coked out." Because there's a cab driver friend, um, Spooner Schooner. Oh yeah, that guy. I kind of like that guy. I, I don't. Was, li I, I thought he was good. Yeah, he, he really came around. At first, I thought they were just like, "Oh fuck this guy," but but they seem like friends. Yeah. Um, so they're at the bar. Well, they're all the they're the buddies from childhood. They keep showing those yeah. childhood pictures. Yeah, I thought you know what? I like that touch. I like that. I wish this movie didn't suck. Because but... every now and again, I think they actually used the picture of Dennis Leary as a kid when they when they did when they didn't need other boys. Around. I always wonder about this when I see these pictures in the movies. One I'm of them, like... he's with a, a an older woman, and I'm pretty sure that's him. I think I'm pretty sure that's an actual photo what is, of him. Isn't what but... they ask these actors to hey talk to your mom and see if. You can find pictures of yourself from childhood. Yeah, yeah. I need you to be between five and seven. And on cocaine. 
<laughs> so cocaine child. They're at the bar. It's Schooner or whatever the cab driver's name is. Uh, Mouse, Seamus, Dennis Leary, um, and fucking Billy Crudup rolls in. He's coked out of his brain. Well, he finds him in the bathroom. He finds him in the bathroom. They're like, hey, homie's in the bathroom, coked out of his brain. He's super. His eyes are wide. He's, he's got that jail. nice short hair. He's supposed to be in jail yet for like two more years. Yeah. And he's not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got a short haircut. Um, he's, you know, he's coked out of his mind, but he's looking pretty good. He is. And he's just doing fucking bumps off of his He's got that, that and... cartridge, yeah, the cartridge that you snort. You yeah. stick in your nose and snort and you ask him if he wants a toot or something right. like that. Right, and Dennis Larry's playing it cool. He's like, hey, is there anything I need to know? No, man, it's all good. I'm all good. I mean, seriously, do I need to know anything? But, but wildly, do you feel like, how did you feel about his energy during this scene? Dennis Leary? No, a crewed up. Oh, I thought it was pretty accurate i was like is this i think this is good yeah this could also be bad i feel like i i <laughs> these people I think in their cocaine act i think it's bad when he's actually doing the the story mm. to call meanie yeah i think that's kind of over the top ah, i don't know i'm con- he's the best part of this movie as far as i'm concerned man yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and Absolutely. i feel like crude has been ruined a little bit by watching all these crude up movies but it, i feel like he's the best part is this is when it pops it's unfortunate because up until this point it's just a snippet of crude up a snippet of crude up uh princess mononoke so it's his voice but he's doing like this anime thing the whole thing doesn't sound like it really at all um, and then, you know, uh, grind, it's mm-hmm. him, the whole movie, but it's like, bleh. inventing the abbots, he's in it, a um, majority of the movie and he's good. Um, so you think now we're at the point where it's not just going to be a bit role. So they're all doing their thing at the tables, drinking and, and Cole Meany walks in with his two boys. Um, and, and he's like, ah, oh, Hey, Jackie, I see you're back. His name is Jackie. I think. I think, I think Cole Meany's name is Jackie. Somebody's Jackie. <laughs> so he's like, hey, Billy Crudup, you're back. Um, uh, how you been? And he's he's playing it cool. He's not like He's super menacing. chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He's just trying to be, he's trying to not have you on guard and just get from you what he needs, um, but he's not pressing it. No. He's, he's, he's good in these scenes. I don't really care for this actor. You know, yeah. I've always thought, He's okay. He's 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 really good on in Hell on Wheels, the TV show. Um, you watched Hell on Wheels? Yeah, with Anson Mount and Common. Um, the train show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like trains. You do like trains. Um, I actually know this about you. And so, although the show is kind of garbage, it's kind of interesting. It's sort of sort of historically accurate, huh. kind of you know. But whatever. So he's also on Deep Space Nine. <laughs> I did. He's yeah. the engineer. <laughs> I looked it up and I was like, oh, he's on he's on the Star he's, Trek. Yeah, yeah. So he he comes over comes over for a drink and he's like, Hey Bill, so what are you doing out? You know, I thought you were in jail and he's like, It's a funny story, Jackie. He's, he's doing like this hand thing. Fucking super just, super cokey hands, cokey eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, it's a funny thing. There was this Puerto Rican you remember this guy? You remember this fucking guy? He basically he he rats himself out. He's he's like telling him I I snitched on this Puerto Rican and it got me out of jail. But then I was like, I'm not sticking to my snitch story. Cops, fuck you. Cops yeah. are real shady. Don't trust them, huh? Right, Colmini? The problem is, is that he chooses the right guy to have snitched on some you know some guy from like a rival faction. But snitching's not allowed. But snitching is not allowed this movie an alternative title for this movie is snitch right so basically they were like he snitched on a guy and then um when they're like we want you to testify he's like i'm not doing that i'm not doing that and then like well we need you to and he's like i'm not and they're like well we can't guarantee your safety and we can't also put you in here if you're at risk so apparently they just let him go from jail two years early which i think is probably a very blatant lie which is something that uh, clearly he's he's picking up on clearly and it's it's actually really it's kind of sad it's 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 interesting to watch him go on the speech because you're like wow you are you are talking him into killing you right now yeah and you can see on like dennis leary's face like he's feeling every moment for um a, a hint as to how it's going and what's going to happen. If he had had like another hour, maybe he could have gotten him out of there. Maybe. But the boss shows up at the wrong time. Yeah, and and in fact, he's like, "Hey man, we're we're cool, right, Jackie?" And Jackie's like, "Yeah, of course, man. No fucking, no I gotta get out of here, boys." And so he leaves. And and dude, 
incredible situation. You mm-hmm. should not be on drugs, mm-hmm. not be out in public, mm-hmm. definitely not be in this town. Yeah, I mean, creatures of habit, I suppose, but it's not like he has anything going for him. <laughs> Man, he can have nothing so, going for him somewhere exactly, far that's away. that's what I mean. Iowa. Why are you here? There's nothing to come back to. They're probably not going to give you a job. Your childhood friends, I guess, but... Uh, his cousin, actually. Uh, Dennis Leary and him are cousins, they say. So, um, Cole Meany leaves, and this is really... This is actually pretty good, because his two henchmen chill and continue to drink with them and it seems like a time has passed are they i don't know if they're with them i they're at the table are they at the see okay well hold on let well the, this is the part i actually i really liked because mm-hmm. it lulled you they tell the story about mouse going to go rob that house of valuables and he falls asleep and because he's even... all fucked up he took some drugs right before he started doing it and yeah. Dennis Leary's like what the fuck who takes who takes downers before they go to rob a house and they even show you footage of him there which is great you know and then they do a whole thing wow this girl blew him and he she threw up and you know that kind of felt like um uh, I don't know natural but also like a little too on the nose for like a story that fellas tell it's it was uh, it was a good enough story to get you involved in it. Yeah, and forget what's going on. I, I didn't even register that um, Cole Meany's guys were there. I think one might be kind of lingering in the back, but the guy in the leather coat, he's like, if I was Billy Crudup, he'd be like right here. Okay. And he's drinking with them, and they're just doing their thing. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> he pulls out a gun and shoots him like two or three times. Billy and Crudup. do they even show the gun come out, or do you just hear the shots yeah, and he, see Billy Crudup take it? it? it like, immediate, they cut to him, and immediately he pulls the gun out and fires. It's fucking great. Everybody kind of pushes back from the table. Billy Crudup falls back, and he's dead. And the shooter's out. And and they're gone, and everybody out. The bartender's like, everybody out! Get the yeah. fuck out of here! And everybody get in the bathroom. We gotta do the bathroom thing where everybody was in the bathroom. Yeah, so they're about to break out, and Seamus is just like... I'm not a gangster. I this is this is my favorite part of the movie, like hands yeah, down, yeah. him getting executed. Yeah, it's a good scene all around. It's you're lulled in, and it's super shocking. Yeah. The shooting felt believable. Yeah, it wasn't uh, kind of yeah, cheesy it, like it, some of the other stuff. It was like a small caliber little handgun too. It was like something that a guy would just carry in his jacket, a little pistol. You know what I mean? And it, it yeah, it was great. And then so Seamus is flipping out, and then like we got to fucking go. And before they can go, though, and I forgot, Martin Sheen comes rolling in. He's oh, he, yeah, okay. I forgot he was in this. Um, hey, what the fuck? Hey, there's a dead body. Oh, know? hey, you're new. Hey, let me talk to this new guy. Oh, you're Irish. Listen, let me tell you, all these people, they're going to say I was in the bathroom. Yep. When the shooting happened, I didn't see anything. Can he, I ask you a question? Where were you? Yeah, and he goes, now, hey, Billy Crudup was Dennis Leary's cousin, and you're Dennis Leary's cousin, so... Ipso facto, that's your blood on the floor there. You think I, you think I would have uh, noticed that Seamus was his cousin? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they mention it several times. Yeah, I know. That's what you're saying. Do you think it would stick I think he me? even calls Dennis Leary cousin instead of his real name. I was probably just seething over how much I was uh, unhappy about watching a Dennis Leary movie. Hey, no qualms about that. I will say, though, based on the thumbnail that they had on um, Amazon Prime, that was grainy as fuck. So I was glad that the movie actually kind of looked didn't look like a vhs that was in the rain (laughs) yeah through somebody's screen door um so he's like i was in the fucking bathroom you know and uh martin sheen's like you fucking idiots you keep killing each other i keep coming over the bridge so they bugger off and he even says hey bros it was the bartender's name although it's spelled bros where were you give me a beer oh he said yeah he does he has a beer all right so they bugger off and they're fucking at the pier or some shit. And they're like, this is fucked up. What do we do? And Dennis Leary's like, I mean, that's just it. That's life. You fucked up. Blah, blah, blah. Chill out, Seamus. We're not making a thing about this. So then later, Dennis Leary's at probably the same bar. Maybe a, a different bar. I, it seems like that's the bar they go to. Well, is that be f- is Gene Triplehorn after the funeral? Because they do a funeral for Billy Crudup and... And everybody's there. Everybody's there. And uh, Cole Meany rolls in. Yep. Like, what the fuck? Handing is... out money. Hands... He gives her like a 50, right? Like, if you ever need any... a 50? And throughout this, like, uh, Billy Crudup's mom and yeah. Dennis Leary's mom are yep. coming up to Dennis Leary being like, 
What happened? You got to tell me what the truth. I what happened? Know. I don't know. I was I was walking by. I was in the bathroom. You say he was walking by. Yeah. I, was... I came in after it was after he was killed. You got to know something. These boys. And then they show like all the women whose kids are dead. Mrs. McNally or whatever. So eventually Dennis Leary's at a bar having a drink and Cole Meany comes in with his crew and Famke Jansen, who um, I think she's a pretty good actress for this role. Sure. Um, in fact, her friend, she's she's on the West Wing. I kept looking at it. You remember the friend? She's got kind of squinty eyes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, the, the one that's always with her. Who the, yeah. yeah. I'm like, who the fuck? And she, she was on the West Wing. I don't recognize her one bit. Yeah. I mean, West Wing and practically nothing else. Practical magic, you said? Yeah. Um, oh. So uh, Dennis Leary's just seething because he's like, fuck Cole Meany and fuck Famke Jansen, you know? Why can't she be my girlfriend? And then he looks over and he sees Gene Triplehorn. Looking good. Yeah, you know what? And and, and I kind of thought um, that there would be a redemption arc through her. Sure. I didn't remember what happened. Maybe it's better there wasn't. It probably. And I was very much thinking of Goodwill Hunting at this point. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, he's going to. They're going to pickle kiss. Yeah. yeah. Um, she's going to whip him into shape. So he goes over to the table and he sits down and he's like, hey. I've fucking got chops over here on my head. <laughs> you like, <laughs> do you like disgusting men? Yeah. I live with my mother and I'm 40. <laughs> Doesn't even like, he, she's like, where do you live? And he's like, ah, blah, blah, blah. Around, she, what do you do for a living? And he goes, I uh, fix old cars. Oh, I'm a dad at a Shelby. Good car, good car, or some shit. Skyline, mm. some shit. Um, and, and, and Famke Jansen's just watching this like, oh, I don't believe it. I'm not fucking him, but how is he dare fuck with this girl? I think she is fucking him. She comes over drunk one night and takes off her shirt. Maybe she used to be like his girlfriend like 15 years ago. It kind of feels like maybe there was something going on, you know, maybe like a inventing the Abbots thing. I'm shaking with, my head. With uh, Liv and Joaquin. Yeah. You know, where they just know each other and they're kind of dancing around it, but then Cole Meany's hot shit. So anyways, he's talking up Gene Triplehorn and her friend and they're like well we're gonna leave and he goes well why don't i walk you out you know um and she's like yeah all right fine she's kind of receptive to him but a little bit uh, almost an alarming amount even though it's a little bit because it's like this guy <laughs> really like this this uh towny bum yeah like you know this bar right but apparently that she's not from there because he even says uh you need a towny sticker so your car doesn't get burglarized uh, it's still cars all the time around here it's crazy don't park at the mall yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, all of a sudden Fomka jansen comes flying out in her jean jacket midi dress it's, boy is she, is she livid you fucking this and that she goes right after fucking triple horn she does and gene triple horn's like i'm 40 what <laughs> she i don't even think says, like what is this high school yeah you know because it's like what is this high school you're in there with comb fucking meanie so he's like, go back inside. And she does. And he goes, hey, hey, Gene Triplehorn, I'm, I'm sorry. I, you were in Universal Soldier, maybe. Or was she in that Kevin Costner Water World movie? I'm like aware of her. Yeah. I don't, I couldn't tell you a She's single. She's been movie. around. Is she in like Analyze This? Let's say yes. Oh. Um, get the old Triplehorn cooking. <laughs> so uh, nothing really comes from that. Nope. She she's like, all right, I'll talk to you later. And he's like, all right, I'm going to go back to my loser life. This is, this is the closest I ever got to getting out. Yeah. Talking to a pretty lady that's not from here. Yeah. Like, it, like she almost would have given him an excuse to clean himself up. But you, but he's got nothing to offer, man. He's got nothing to offer. Fucking that's just nothing. It. And, and then good on him for not fucking dragging Gene Triplehorn down. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> I mean, shit just kind of happens in the movie, you know? Um. At some point, doesn't Colm... He slaps her, and Dennis Leary's like, hey, and he goes, watch your fucking shit, you know? I do what I want. You're a lackey. Get out, and get, let's get out of here with this shit. And she, like, goes to sit on the steps from Joker. Really? No, but it's a long- <laughs> You got me. It's a long staircase. Um, and he comes down like, hey, you all right? And she's Dennis got the Leary black goes, eye? Yeah, and she's like- I don't know. She's like pissed at him for some reason. Yeah. I th well, I think this is it for their relationship, right? She, yeah. She kind of exits out of it. I guess. And Whatever then, they had going on is no longer happening. Right. Carol from the West Wing comes down and, and she's like, I got it, Dennis Leary. I got it. 
He goes, all right, I guess I'll see you around. I guess nobody needs me. And then he has his conversation with Seamus, right, along the river? Uh, before he's like, that, they play hockey. Oh, God, the hockey match. Street hockey. Oh, the hockey match is um, ugly. It's Cole Meany's bro gang versus Dennis Leary's loser gang. And they're throwing bows and high sticking and uh, eventually, and it's stupid because Dennis Leary is like apparently placing wild bets throughout the movie. Yeah, but you don't even really know that he's doing that. Like at one point he even goes, don't you remember you called my guy last night yeah. and like placed a thousand dollar, like whatever. So he's in the hockey game and he's fucking seething and they're about to fight and he's like, no, nah, you know what? Fuck that. Next goal, double or nothing on the bet I owe you. And he's like, that's like four grand. He's like, I don't give a fuck. And, you know, they lose <laughs> like an idiot. Oh, and then that's when he's at the bar and he sees Gene, Gene Triplehorn. But eventually, yeah. So <sighs> Seamus and him are walking. They're going to, to a bar to get drunk to watch the first half of a game. And then they're going to go to a different bar to watch the second half. Hell yeah. That's the way to live, bro. And Seamus, smartly enough, fucking, he's like, I'm done, dude. Yeah, this is a bad place. You are all bad people. He's like, I came here to, you said you'd find me a job. He's like, I did. He's like, a fucking job. I'm not a criminal. Billy Crudup was murdered, and I lied to the police, you yeah. dipshit. Fucking the only regular person in this movie. You know what I mean? And so he's like, all right, later. And Seamus is walking, and and, and uh, Jed Bartlett picks him up. Fucking Martin Sheen. Is that his name? Oh. Uh, it's from the West Wing, Jed yeah. Bartlett. Um, so Martin Sheen picks him up. Potus. Right in the middle of the street. He gets him in the car, and, and they drive off. Yeah, right in front of people. Two, two people townies. right on the stoop looking. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck, right? So I think the next thing that we see is Dennis Leary's walking down the street and there's a incident mm -hmm. and it's the cab. Oh, it's the cab. It's Scooter's cab or whatever. And Scooter comes up like, hey man, I, I just went in for a sandwich and they killed Seamus. He wanted the sandwich real bad. Yeah, and they shot him through the window. And he's dead now, mm -hmm. bleeding in the car and shit. And uh, Martin Sheen's like, he's the only good guy. He's the only good guy. Man, you, fuck you, Martin you Sheen. You picked him up. He he knew what would happen. You picked him up. And you couldn't, like, follow him and then, like, wait till he crosses and goes around. Yeah, I mean, it's like, clearly, you're dooming this guy. Yeah. He, and then we that see this in other movies. probably was his tactic when he was interviewing him. Like, they saw me pick you up. You got to help me or I can't help you. Then otherwise, I just let you go and you know they're going to kill you. And he's just like, I'm going home, man. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And too late. So he's dead. And it's funny because Dennis Leary, he like runs away. I don't know if you saw he Like after Martin Sheen tells him off and he literally like a child turns around and runs away and like goes under the police tape. He doesn't quite clear it. <laughs> and it's just like you're 40, man. I mean, I know you're living like arrested development, but you're fucking an adult. Yeah, this is, this is... So, but you know, this is another movie I just split in half. I watched like 40 minutes of this thing and I said, you know what? I would rather watch a good TV show with my girlfriend for yeah. an hour and then when she goes to bed, I'll watch the rest of this fucking piece of shit. I, again, I watched this dolo. I was alone. <sighs> um, I was probably drinking. And I mean, I'm like watching it, but even though we've been talking now for probably close to a half hour, I mean, there just isn't much going on. Much There's like nothing. There's The plot is slim as hell. Throughout the movie, they keep mentioning a dealership job they wanted him to do. Uh, it's in the suburbs. It's too risky. And, and he does it because he, he owes them fucking money. And immediately, you know, the cops come. And so they got to ditch the car and they're in a Ferrari. Oh, he, he uh, Mouse is ducked down in the passenger seat. Oh, yeah. That was a good move. They, they do the stay move. Down. Stay they're down. like, do the move. The Murphy. Yeah. I do the Murphy. And so Dennis Leary gets out and runs away and apparently evades the cop. And yeah, Mouse, the cops chase him and the mouse drives off in the car. Yep. And uh, Colmini's like, your money's coming. Don't worry about it. Uh, and Dennis Leary's doing some soul searching. I think that might be, I guess I don't know, but eventually he goes to meet Colm to get his money. Yeah, he's been putting him off a little bit, I think. They're at like um some sort of an Irish celebration. Yeah, it seems like, like a, a, a hall, or something. a beer hall yeah. or something. So they, so Hitman Boy comes to get him, and they go into the back room, might be the stock room or something. Mm -hmm. And it's Colm um, and his two boys, and uh, he gives Dennis Leary the money, and he's like, "Hey, did he even say you handle that Seamus shit?" Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's I appreciate like, what? that, my boy. Now, <laughs> yeah. And Dennis Leary turns to walk away, and quickly pivots, pulls out a gun. 
shoots Colm and the guy that shot Billy Crudup um, and, and turns the gun on the other guy. And he's, he's like, don't do it. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. And, and, and he, he doesn't. He doesn't. Um, Mistake. I mean, probably. I'm assuming that guy is probably going to try to fill the shoes of Colm Meany. You think so? Yeah, I guess. I mean, who? It's. It, it, I don't think it's like a a mafia where they're part of a family that connects to a larger syndicate. No. I think this is just neighborhood. Street level shit. Yeah. Right. But I mean, like, somebody's going to try to do it. I suppose. Right. I but mean, and then he walks past that uh, beefy dude. Yeah. Who's from Mystic River and I believe person of interest. He's in quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Got the curly hair. Very. Oh, yeah. Because. No, I'm sorry. We skipped a part. Oh, no. Because they were <laughs> driving around. They're all packed in the cab. Curly-haired racist. Oh, God, yes. And he goes, hey, there's a black kid over there. Oh, God. That's we what, should yeah. stop and fuck him up. Well, this is when they drop the N-word. This is, this is... Oh, they're left and right on yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and oh, God, so Dennis is... Leary's like, pull over. He grabs a gun. He goes, pull over. And the cab driver's like, Dennis Leary, what are you doing? And he grabs this kid. And, I mean, he's probably 15, maybe. What? I kid. thought this was a young man. I mean, the actor is probably older than the character is supposed to be. You thought he's like a 15 year old? I thought that was because he had like a backpack on. And, Did he? Yeah. I don't he know. He was about very that. much like either he had um, maybe a learning disability what? or a cognitive issue. What? Maybe like Down syndrome. Fuck. Shut up. <laughs> I swear kidding. to God. Because he, I, I don't know, he seemed very young mentally, but the actor seemed a little bit older. But he was supposed to be like a fucking kid. This is weird. I thought he was just like a totally regular 20-year-old guy. No. And maybe he was, and I'm just projecting. I think you might. But... I mean, listen, I'm definitely... Oh, I think this is actually where I split the movie in half. I did not e want to see what happened. they throw him in the cab, Yeah, and they drive down somewhere, Ugh. and they pull him out, and Dennis Larry throws him on the ground, and he pulls out the gun, and he's like, all right, racist, um, you want me to shoot him because he's black? You want me to shoot him? Huh? Mm -mm. And the racist is like, you made your point, dude. And he's like, did I? You want me to kill him? And then he goes, no fucking bullets, you moron. And then he goes, hey, kid, there's a train station over there. I hate this on so many levels. Oh, yeah. you're the good guy? You're the good yes. guy showing that racism is wrong and that you guys aren't as tough as you say you are? You, you just, still snatch that motherfucker off the street? You just committed a hate crime. This, this, We don't care about how this guy feels about being kidnapped right. at gunpoint right. in the back of the car, thrown onto the ground. He's and, anticipating this is the last moments of his life. Yeah. Some fucking geriatrics scoop him up, throw him in a crowded cab. <laughs> Take him down to the waterfront or whatever. Yeah. Pull a gun on him. It's fucking horrible. No, it should have been like he pulls the gun on the guy. You fucking go and fight this kid. Don't even involve the kid. Right? Yeah. You go fight him and, and, and take his shit out on the guy, not this kid. I'm going to teach you guys a lesson by being abusive to the stranger. It's fucking outrageous. Roger Ebert liked that scene. Oh. I read Lord. some reviews after this. He, he thought it was pretty clever the way he flipped that racism around on him. Good there. Lord, because it was it was it was tough to watch yeah that's why i had to take the break i was like oh they're gonna they're gonna commit a hate crime yeah uh, i'm i'm out until later and not only that but it, it 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 really spoils the character for the rest of the movie not that there's any sort of redeeming i mean he kills cole Meany, um and then everybody's like good job because everybody knows um like good job and he had like a wad full of money and and and, and martin sheen stops him on the street and he's frisking him, and he makes sure his partner is looking, and he takes the wad of money out. And he goes, I heard you were, uh, there's some trouble over at this thing. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, my cyberns and I were halfway across town in the bathroom. And he pockets the money, and he's like, fuck off. We're even. He's a, he's a bad cop. This is a bad ending. He should have been killed for what he has done. You know what I wrote? I, I wrote, uh, there's zero chance I'll, I'll watch this movie all the way through. Hmm. I said, I do not like these people. Mm -hmm. I do not find them interesting. Mm -hmm. I do not like the actors. I do not like this. Yeah, I think if um, this had been uh, a younger cast, even like like Billy Crudup as Dennis Leary or Mouse. God, that would have been such a better movie. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know who else you could have got in there. Someone Cracker Jack, you know, that- you could have at least 
um, forgiven some of all of this, yeah. some of all of this, <laughs> if they were at least young idiots, I guess. Or if maybe they played with the age a little bit more. If they are going to yeah, be 40-year-old yeah. guys, maybe we explore the sadness of their pathetic lives a little bit more. Yeah, it's never touched on. I mean, like, his mom is old. Yeah. Um, was that a priest that was in his house when he came back? I don't know. Without his collar on? I'm, bl- I'm, I'm, I'm blocking this movie he had, like, a black up. shirt on. And he's just there. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's 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 pretty pathetic. Because I mean, even like Famke Jansen, you know, like all of these people are fucking adults. And maybe she wasn't in her 40s. No, I'm sure she's like 30. I'm sure Janine Triplehorn's like 30. Because sure the, the men are in their 40s. They look disgusting. And they aren't going to pair 40-year-old men up with 40-year-old women. Yeah, this would have been like, what, two or three years before X-Men? Oh, uh, no, I bet you it's right around there, man. Because this was 98. X-Men, I'm pretty sure, was like maybe 2000. I don't know if that's true. Um, Let me see here. Let I think it I might be 98, it. man. It, it's 2000. Oh, dang it. Yeah. My uh, confidence was strong there. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you want to hear an alternate title for this movie? I do. Shitbags, the movie. Yeah. Why did he call it Monument Avenue? Is that where he I lives? I guess that must be the name. Of the Avenue. <laughs> Is that a popular street? Yeah. I don't know. It's like all those, all them Boston, all them Southies. Isn't that what they call the Bostons? Boston South guys? Southpaws. Southies, Southpaws, yeah. Isn't there like a Donnie Wahlberg movie called Southie and he's like a gangster from yeah, Boston? probably. You seen Southie? No. Oh, I bet you we should do Donnie Wahlberg next. I bet <laughs> hey. you those are some good movies. I know he's in The Sixth Sense. Is he? Donnie Wahlberg? Yeah. Yeah. He's the guy that kills Bruce Willis in the beginning. Oh, boy. You said you'd help me! That's my, I that's do not my Wahlberg. That. Hey, that's good. I just watched that movie like a year ago. It was great. Yeah. That's... Teddy was Billy Crudup's name. Okay. Um, Teddy Padillac. I think the actors had a good camaraderie. Yeah. Like it worked, but so much of this movie, so much of seeing Dennis Leary in this role it just felt it felt like there's a a, a a musical that came out recently called dear evan hansen yeah <laughs> and the lead guy ben something ben something he's like 30 something he's playing like i don't 14 year old i think he's like 28 he's the one who originated it on broadway right, right yes he's the original guy yeah and they're finally filming it well and his father financed the film and and effectively said I, I wouldn't have done it had my son not been in this role. Mm-hmm. And and there was a, a, a pretty good review I, I, I saw at some point where they mentioned how on stage you could forgive a lot and and you need to embellish your emotions and but when you're in a movie and the camera is like a few feet away from you, yeah. it doesn't work. You can't and, hide and you, that. You can't you can tell these men are men. And and I mean to the to the movie's credit, they're not trying to be young. But it feels like they should be. Yeah. And it, it just, uh, yeah, I mean. Their lifestyle makes me so sad. It's a competent movie. I really liked the Polaroids or the f- f- the pictures. Yeah. It, it hits you at the, all the right moments. Billy Crudup's That dad. was like maybe the one directorial flourish. Because mm-hmm. like this movie does not pop. It does not shine. Mm-mm. That shooting yeah. was good. Yeah. The Cole Meany shooting is decent. It's at yeah. least at least something's happening. Yeah, you know, I, I, honestly, I, was, I didn't see it coming. Really? I figured it was definitely coming, but I, I was still excited that it actually happened because, boy, they sure could have just not done anything like grind. Hey, that's true. And but But now I'm left with wondering, so he killed his only source of income. Yeah. Um, and all of his money was stolen. Good thing he doesn't have any bills because he lives at home with his fucking mom. True. And she she drinks quite heavily at times, at least after the funeral. She's well, wasted. She's blotto. All these fucking nice kids that she saw as children are getting killed. And her forty year old delinquent idiot child is, <sighs> you know, doing blow down in the basement. This movie does not look good, but boy, does that score cheapen it. Would you agree with that statement? Yeah. By the time the fucking credits roll around, you're like. The me- man, these these '90s movies. Yeah. If you fuck up the music, if you think that you're like a, I'm a music guy. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the music in here. This is gonna be good. Fuck, dude, no, 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 no. Ted Demi, hey, uh, the guy from who did Grind. I can't remember. You guys pick shitty music. <laughs> yeah. That's dated and awful. Yeah. Take it down another twenty percent. 
Should we give this ratings? Yeah, let's do ratings. All right. I hate this movie so much. <laughs> I didn't like Grind. Grind stinks, right? Yeah. But I actively like hated this. This is an easy two for me. Okay. Man. I really Billy Crudup's I, performance? No, Billy Crudup's actually. I like. I'm I, I, I would. I'd, I'd give him like a seven. The movie's a two. Okay. I'd give him because I'm a little back and forth on his cocaine vibe. Yeah. Like I feel like it's hard to say because it's like I mean cocaine. You know what are you gonna? Yeah. You know I feel like they're overdoing it maybe a bit, but he's doing a lot of. Cocaine. He's doing a lot of cocaine. I would, I would, I'm gonna, I'd give him a seven. I give this movie a two. I don't like Dennis Leary. Boy, do I not like Dennis Leary. Mm-hmm. I used to watch Rescue Me. I like same Rescue here. Me quite a bit. Uh, yeah, same here. But I it's mean, the supporting characters. Yeah, all of the characters were really bizarre. They got into a lot of strange situations. Yeah, a lot of strange sex things and drugs yeah. and alcohol. It was an amusing show for quite a few seasons. Yes, but I don't like Dennis Leary. You really do have to be a fan of Dennis Leary to like anything that he's in because he's just dennis leary well in this movie he's not dennis leary really though maybe that's he's the problem he's yeah, they rubbed off all the edges like in the ref i kind of yeah. almost want to watch the ref because i used to have that on vhs also is billy crystal on that no it's kevin space kevin's Sp- yeah the spaceman is that what they call him the spaceman <laughs> <laughs> kevin spacey is in that yeah i think his snarky biting Bill Hicks ripoff that mm-hmm. he does uh, is maybe much better, but God, it, he's, I find he's him really so He's really doing unbe- this drama shit here. He's a black hole of nothing. Yeah. He should not be leading this movie. He's I not like good looking. Face. He's not charismatic. Yeah. God damn it. I fucking hated him in this movie. Yeah. I mean, I liked a lot of the actors in this movie. It felt very much derivative of, of better movies. Yeah. For sure. I mean, it, it felt it, obviously it predates Mystic River, but it the, the the Martin Sheen aspect kind of felt like something from a movie like Mystic River. Sure. Um, there's a bunch of Goodwill Hunting shit in here, and yeah, I'll, I'll probably give this movie a three. What did you give Grind? A two? No, did, I, I think gave you Grind might, a three. Uh, yeah, you gave everybody. Everyone says I love you. A two. two. Yeah, that's impressive that you disliked that more than these two. That's that movie. <laughs> this kind of movie, I have a, a sort of soft spot for. But there's not there's nothing there. No, <laughs> it, like there are much better versions of this. This is like watching there. Burn Notice, man. It's like a, a <sighs> empty version of of other things you've seen. I suppose. I mean, whatever. You know, I like the the I liked a, a lot of the actors. Sure. I'm um, sorry. I don't mean to come at you. No, for no, your no, ratings. no. It's fair. I, I liked a lot of the actors. I like the photographs. It's a meandering movie, but you know, I mean, I don't know. Billy, Billy Crudup's performance. I'll, I'll probably go with like a, a six. Sure. You know what I mean? It's it's very short, it, and it's very over the top. But there's some nuance in there. And, yeah. You know, I mean, it's short lived. It's popping. You're paying attention to him as soon as he shows up yeah. on screen. You're like. Down. That scene, that scene felt like something maybe out of The Sopranos, or or something better. It, it just unfortunately was in this movie. <laughs> I paid five ninety nine to rent this. That's the base yeah. price for the standard definition. Well, you could have got it for a dollar cheaper on YouTube. You went on Amazon. Right? I did. I went on Amazon. Oh, I went on YouTube. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Well, I mean, that's a buck. You know what? I'm going to rent it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered how much different, like, I was watching it in the HD, and I was like, well, this movie looks like shit. What the <laughs> fuck does the SD version look like? Yeah. Okay. It's sad that a movie like this is so readily available, but other movies aren't. I think it's because it's a Ted Demi movie. Oh, absolutely. And a Dennis Leary movie. Absolutely. Yeah. Weird. All right, guys. Check us out on Instagram. We doing filmographies. I've been Jules. I've been Jason. All right. We've been doing filmographies. God help us. (laughs) Good night. Unless it's the daytime, then good morning.